What wing? Where? Oh, on the other side? Yep. Oh. What do we got going on here? Oh yeah, we're a little soft. Well, we're gonna have to get after that tomorrow. Well, there you have it, folks. This is the 9560. 9560R. Both of these tractors I bought from Sloan Implement. Both of these tractors came out of their dealership in Carlinville, Illinois. Um, I set out back the beginning of February um, to buy a couple of tractors. We needed something to replace the 8320 with. And if you've seen the last video I did here a while ago on the 8320, I'll put a card up above here. Um, we bought the 8360 to take the place of the 8320. And I took a trip out to the Midwest here uh, the first part of February and bought these two here. Now when I set out to buy these, I had been on the internet. Um, I looked around quite a bit. We actually were looking at a 90, couple of 9530s and a couple of 8530s. We just could not find anything that was in all the realm of hours that we were looking for and anything else that was newer was kind of out of our budget, but we did get a real good deal on these two tractors here. Uh, they were delivered back on uh, March 17th, so just over two weeks ago. Um, this 9560 is a little bigger than what we need along with the 8360. Um, however, what we were looking for was something that had a PTO on it so that we could use it on the manure spreader in the event that we end up hooking it to the spreader. Now this has got 870 R38 tires on it. It's a little bigger than what we're used to. This tractor here has a PTO on it. It was set up the way we want it, but like I said, it's, it's a lot bigger than what we really need. My brother found this um, chisel plow on the internet. We actually bought this chisel plow from a local dealership here this is a 17 shank chisel plow and we are actually going to add two more shanks to it the chisel plow that's hooked to the 8360 is a 13 shank this one here what we're going to be able to do in order to add a shank two shanks to it we can add one to each side there's a bracket that clamps on to the outer wing right in this area here and that will enable us to turn this into a 19 shank chisel plow. It's a 2131. It is, I don't know how old it is. A couple, couple years old is all. It's actually in better shape than the other chisel plow that we have hooked to the 8360. Now, like I said, this has got the PTO on it. It's got a heavy duty draw bar on there. We're gonna be able to use this on the spreader if in the event that we want to hook this to the spreader. The other, another nice thing about this tractor is it is the same frame as the 9410 we have. So in the event that something goes down on the 9410 when we're trying to push silage, we can take those blade frames off and we can put them right on this tractor. This tractor along with the other one has just over 4,000 hours on it. Um, it's in real good shape. We um, actually had the green star in this one so that when we pull this chisel plow, we can maximize the, um, the, the implement that it's pulling. In other words, we won't have any overlap. Uh, we did have this chisel plow hooked to the 9410 handles it just fine however we had been into some conditions with that 13 shank chisel plow that that 9410 didn't really like now that was in hilly conditions hard soils um you know heavy soils and everything like that so this tractor being that it's a little more than what we need with 17 shanks um it's probably more or less a 23 shank chisel plow tractor 
but um, this is what we've got to use on there and it obviously is a lot bigger than what we are used to here so in the next week or so we ought to be able to get both of these tractors running together uh, for now the chisel plow is hooked to the 8360 we're probably going to put that on a um, Landall uh, disc uh, we do have um, uh, the 9320 that we'll probably put to that disc or that chisel plow uh, for but for right now it's it's going to do chisel plowing and uh, we've got the other 8320 on the spreader so junior he doesn't want me to uh, put this 8360 on the spreader just yet anyways but it's got green star on there and what's nice about the green star with um, apply and manure we can actually get some documentation on where we've put the manure so we've yammered on about long enough on this tractor uh, and in this video rather obviously in the next week 10 days we're gonna be able to get some real nice footage of not only these tractors working in the field but all the other stuff that's kind of going on here we're applying a little bit of manure but not much but for the most part it's been just a lot of shop work when these tractors were delivered they were both delivered on the same day however they had to put a third load together for the wheels for two of the duels that were on this tractor they put uh, the front duels on the same load that the 8360 came on however they were overweight by the time they um, had to put the other two wheels on so they came on a third load here last week so that's why we're kind of late getting this um, video out on these two tractors but um, they were bought back in the beginning of February um, I just went on a road trip out to the Midwest and I had set out I wanted to buy like I said earlier um, the two tractors from the same dealership and um, we were able to pull that together uh, Sloan equipment Sloan implement they were great to work with um, they, it was just a just a nice uh, nice business arrangement there to get these two tractors bought and get them delivered um, we hope that we're gonna have very good luck with them we know right where these tractors uh, came from they both came out of Illinois on two separate farms uh, both large very large um, grain farms but with that being said uh, we're gonna park these these two tractors and uh, maybe in the next few days we'll be able to get some chisel plowing done huh what do you say about that Andrew huh yeah. all right let's get these tractors parked and uh, we will come at you in the next few days with some chisel plowing videos. For those of you who are wondering, this does have a cab cooler in it. I can take my root beer one with me when I'm chisel plowing. <laughs> yeah, this um this tractor along with the 9560, they did have the round air vents. And these round air vents just so happen <laughs> to hold a 12 ounce can. You can't get anything bigger than a 12 ounce can. You can't get them big tall beer cans in here. And there is two vents that are right in the, uh, let's see, just above the operator here. If I can get the camera to show it. It's actually one above me on the left hand side. And then there's one over by the radio here on the right hand side now there's two in the front but i don't think that they'll hold it i don't i think that the, you know let me see that a second i don't know if they'll go up in there no they won't go in there because the cab roof is um too close to uh the actual headliner in the tractor but uh, just kind of a funny little bit of information here for you and believe it or not if you haven't had a um, if your beer is warm or your root beer, um, that will actually cool it down a little bit. So, uh, just kind of a fun little fact. So with that being said, that is going to do it for this video. Remember to leave me a thumbs up on these videos. Drop me a what? 
Comment down below. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't yet already. Uh, check out the Instagram too. Some of these videos that I do, I try to put uh, some pictures in earlier on before the video comes out. And that is uh, farming, fixing, and fabricating as well. And um, I guess that's going to about do it. Maybe you get some chisel plowing done this weekend. Yep. Yep. We're going to get them two shanks for that 17 shank chisel plow to add to it next week. And uh, by mid part of next week after this weather event has gone through, we'll be able to actually put the put a little bit of work to that 9560 here so well folks that is gonna do it i want to thank you for watching and we'll catch you at the next video